guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do make sure that you subscribe hit the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video you'll be the first one to know guys let's talk about the ruveneko elsie padrinato okay so what happened is she came out and um to the public and tell everybody that she is pregnant and she is expecting and guys we all know kutiru veneko divorced her husband of seven years because of whatsoever that was happening and she came out and said kuti there was no love in the uh, so she filed for divorce and that went well yes sharp so when she came out talking about her pregnancy she mentioned a lot of things could she feels like uh she's behind and also the thing of um the circumstances according to her health and all that uh she couldn't wait and also uh finding a soulmate waiting for the soulmate to come it will take a long time so when she put this to the public a lot of people they were so happy for her and everyone was celebrating with her but there is only one person who came out and who was against ruveneko which is shadaya i'm gonna go ahead and read what he said there is really nothing to celebrate about Ruth's pregnancy. Nothing is inspirational about being a single mom. Already society is burdened with the problem of single moms. And we are supposed to celebrate that. All because she made a cute uh, little YouTube video. And guys, I was like, wow. I cannot lie that I was surprised with the Shadaya Abudachi Taura Shunjagadai. Because we all know Kuti Shadaya is against what every woman does. He fights with Olinda, Ano fighter, like literally every woman that is a public figure, a social light or a celebrity, he just finds something to say against them. So I was not surprised. And guys, to be honest with you, this is my op own opinion. I feel like Shadaya and my issues never cards. I really don't know how to put this because uh I don't want to sound like I'm throwing shade, but I feel like anima unresolved issues that he probably needs to deal with it before he responds to any woman out there because what he is good at he's good at body shaming women he's good at just throwing shade at women and i really don't know could he when he does that is it for cloud is it for for fame or what but if it is coming from within i feel like because guys to be honest with you this is actually coming from a place of love uh, from a place of concern and i'm just concerned because if you are to follow his trades or his tweets on be it on twitter be it on facebook or instagram all he does is to just body shame or throw shade on women so guys everybody is happy about ruvenica and everybody was celebrating with her and everybody was congratulating her and some most people that maybe they know her from uh, from a uh, close circle so maybe probably they know what she went through on just being a mom because she mentioned could he because of the healthy conditions and um waiting for a soulmate she just mentioned it and she admitted that i feel like in Dakota, i want to be called a mom and no woman out there who doesn't want to be called a mom mukadzi we say i think at 99 percent mukadzi we say anotodokunze am i so in my honest opinion for shadaya to come and say single moms were having an issue as a community and whatnot yes there are a lot of single mothers out there but one thing that i can say that single mother is working so hard to just put food on that son or daughter or children's table so for him to say kuti tine problem as if kutongendiaru kuchengitane society oh yes got an organization that take care of single mothers <laughs> i'm gonna say he was wrong about that because every single mother out there what she is doing that woman she's just fighting for her kids and nothing else and if it is ruveneko ruveneko i feel like He's got, she's got a stable job or she's got a stable income. And I don't think that child is going to like anything. So having a child, whether out of marriage or being a single mother, it's a choice. And everybody, people must stop uh, labeling single mothers as if it's a mistake always. At some point, it's a choice. You just chose that. I want to have a baby, but I don't want a husband. It's a choice. 
in this 21st century, we are in a time where anyone and everyone they do whatever they want. So people to say good evening, Namurumi, so as we tell guys, I feel like that was really not fair because so many times we want to say guys. Let's be honest. And we are here, and let's talk about this. So, when we get to they just want fame, and then they use women. That is very wrong. I feel like whenever he makes a statement, I feel like yo, we need to sort. <laughs> we that's the that's the issues that we can come as a community and say goodie we need to sort out this so to rivenego what i can say is congratulations mommy and do you do you and do you do not listen to what anybody can say as long as you felt like i was ready and i'm ready to be a mom go for it and i tell you you're gonna enjoy it all the way and I wish you good luck and I wish you self delivery and I wish you to enjoy every moment with your child. Yeah, guys, tell me guys what you think in the comment section. Uh, do you think what he said me that Shadaya was useful or is just nonsense? <laughs> because in my honest opinion, I just feel like that was nonsense and that was not necessary. Yeah, guys, tell me guys what you think. What are your opinions? What do you think about this whole Ruveneko issue? Do you think what she should have waited yet? state my healthy conditions I can that will not guarantee her to have a child later on while waiting for a soulmate what do you guys do if it was you what were you supposed to do what was you gonna do yeah guys do not forget to like share comment my videos I will be right there in the comment section engaging with you and I love it love you I love you so much until next time bye for now